morning guys. So I'm just getting ready for work and I actually packed a lunch today because I bought a bunch of sandwich meats and stuff. So I basically made the same sandwich you saw in my vlog last night which is turkey breast, salami, spinach, tomato and some mayo and then I slightly toasted the bread as well. And then I have an apple, some gummy dinosaurs and some pretzel sticks and then I also have a granola bar which is in my purse. But yeah, for the last couple weeks I've been slacking on packing lunches. I would pack a few things but then I would either get something small at the cafeteria or I would eat something that I have in my drawer at work because for those who didn't see that vlog I basically bought some steak chili, some um, chicken noodle soup and some ramen noodles and just put that in my desk at work for days that I just don't have time to pack a lunch but then I got a little bit lazy and just stopped packing lunches so now that I have these awesome meats I'm going to be so much more motivated to actually make sandwiches. Oh and to drink I just drink from a water bottle which I just keep at work because I used to carry it to work every day and then I was like why don't I just leave my water bottle here and then just fill it up there because it's just tap water so started doing that just made my typical protein powder and banana smoothie and I'm watching Jacob's vlog while I do it. Oh. Shit. Uh, I just swiped my ear and my earring went flying and I don't know where the back of the earring is. I'll steal one from a different earring. Oh my god. So sometimes I like to blow dry just my bangs and then I let the rest of my hair air dry and then I straighten my bangs and then I'm pretty much done. So that's what I did today and I like how it gives my hair a bit more volume because my hair is very thin and so it's nice when I can get a bit of extra volume. But the problem is when it air dries it's kind of frizzy. It's not too bad today but when you look at where you can see an edge you can see little like frizzy bits sticking out so that's kind of annoying. but. I don't know, at the same time it's kind of fabulous because it's got more volume. I'm used to being flat-headed freak. <laughs> I don't know. It's also just nice because it saves time. I don't have to spend the time to blow dry my whole head and to straighten my whole head. I just kind of leave it as it is. If I let my bangs air dry though, that is a whole different story. They just go everywhere and go like... Pfft. So I just... No, I have to at least blow dry my bangs. Although when I was still in school I went through a lazy phase where I never did my makeup ever and I never styled my hair ever. I would shower, my hair would be soaking wet and I would comb my hair over my ears on both sides and hairspray it and then that way the bangs wouldn't get too frizzy, they just get slightly wavy and I would just go to school like that every day because it's just so damn lazy. I mean, I do my makeup almost every day now but that's mostly only because of the vlogs. If I wasn't vlogging, I would not do my makeup for work because I don't give a rat's ass if I'm wearing makeup at work or not, but just because I'm also doing the vlogs, I'm like, well, I might as well because this is going to be on the internet forever, so I want to try to look presentable at least half of the time, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, i got to get going to work enough blab and got to brush my teeth and go and finish the last bit of my smoothie, which yes, I brought into the bathroom. Don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, i got to get going, so see you after work. So I just got home from work. And now I have to do laundry. <laughs> I started recording then I was like, wait, did I put detergent in the machines? Yes, I did. I did forget once, like a year ago, and now I'm always paranoid that I'll forget to put in the detergent. Anyways, what I was going to talk about is the fact that tomorrow is payday. <laughs> and then I can finish paying off my credit card, and that'll mean I have my trips fully paid off, and that'll just be out of the way. It'll be great. So I'm looking forward to that, and I won't be streaming tomorrow. I know it's SS Friday, but I decided. I know I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, and I have decided that I will be taking this month off of the streaming, unless my sister and I do that DDR stream, but other than that, there won't be any streams. And I would have been miss even if I didn't cancel my streams, there would only be two streams this month, because I'm missing two Fridays. Anyways, so. it's not like I'm skipping out on that many streams, I just really want to focus on my YouTube videos. And I want to start planning out more animation pieces because I haven't made anything new for my demo reel since I graduated from school. So I just want to kind of do some animation studies and then a piece or two for my demo reel. So that's going to take me several months probably just because I can only work on it a little bit here and there. So it'll take me a while. But I want to kind of want to start planning that out in addition to my YouTube videos. So I'm just going to take this month to focus on that. 
Also, I have two weeks to finish my dad's picture, so I'm trying to do that. And I'm also trying to stock up on YouTube videos for my art channel because when I'm gone home for Christmas, I'm not going to be able to film anything. So I'm going to film stuff in advance, and then I'll have stuff to post for the rest of the month. I'm only gone for a week. It'll be 10 days, but I just want to have some stuff to upload. So I'm going to at least get two videos done this weekend. I have a couple that I want to do that I know of. And then I'll just try to work on more in the coming weeks. But like I said, I also need to work on my dad's picture. So it's just like, ah, uh, so much to do in the next two weeks. That's why I'm just not doing the live streams. I'm an adult at night. I have this problem where I take out my contacts and then I realize I don't know where my glasses are and it just makes it harder to find them. They're either usually in the bathroom or they're in my bedroom sitting on the dresser and they're not in either of those locations. Which means I'm screwed because I cannot see properly. I'm not terribly blind, but I just don't want to step on them or something. Oh, here they are. I found them. Nope, this just makes things worse. Nearsighted problems. Okay, seriously, this is making me angry. I cannot find them. The only place they would normally be is in my bedroom because I take them off before I go to bed. But often... I don't even wear my glasses, I just wear my contacts all day and then I take out my contacts and go to bed. And they're not in my bedroom, they're not in the bathroom, and that's like the only places I would leave them. So, I don't know. And the thing is, I actually have two pairs of glasses. I don't even know where the second pair is. I know it's in its case, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. The thing is, the second pair isn't quite as good. It was like this cheap, oh, is this it? Is this cheap pair I got online. And there's something weird with the lens, like I got this anti-glare coating, and I don't know if it's the coating that kind of just like wasn't done properly, but the lens is just a bit weird, like everything just looks slightly distorted, so I'll have to go with these instead of my actual glasses. One time I couldn't find my glasses for the longest time, just didn't really think much of it, and then I found them behind this cushion, like behind the back of my couch and I was just like how the hell did that even get there so these are the ones I got online from like China they were super cheap not the best quality glasses but hey it's something and since I can't find my other pair right now this will have to do yeah when I turn my head I can definitely notice distortions like they might not even be the right prescription because I took I don't know what prescription my glasses are I only know my contact lens uh, prescription so that's what I got, and I'm like, hmm, maybe this is one level too strong, potentially, because maybe that's why it feels weird to me, because I know at one point my glasses and my contacts were not the same prescription, and I don't know if they still are different, I don't know, I haven't been to an eye doctor in forever, aside from the one that cut the lumps out of my eyelids, but that was not an actual checkup, although he did test my vision, but yeah, that's a whole other story. Basically, I got these cysts in my eyelids, and I had two on this eyelid, which are technically still there. They're just, they're just really small, because basically they'll flare up, and it becomes this hard cyst that does not go away. And I had two on this. I had one huge one on my lower eyelid, and then a decent size one on my upper eyelid. And so I went to the doctor, and she referred me to an eye doctor, and the eye doctor basically took these things. It's like scissors on one end, and on the other end, there's loop, metal loops. And he like sticks the loop in your eyelid and flips your eyelid inside out and then cuts the inside of your eyelid and takes out the lumps, cuts them out and everything. And it was just gross because I'm pretty good when it comes to things like that. But because it was my eyes, I was just like, Argh. like I could not handle it. And the first one he took out on the upper eyelid, I don't think the anesthetics were fully there. That's what he even said. He was like, because I had some troubles with the first one and then I felt super like dizzy right after like I was gonna faint and he was like oh maybe it's just because the anesthetics didn't fully kick in and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> and then the big huge one on the bottom eyelid came up pretty easily but you can't put stitches on your inner eyelid so basically he just like kind of like wiped everything up and gave me a Kleenex to hold against my eye and the Kleenex was like pooling with blood and I'm like ah this is gross so he had me sit there for a few minutes and then he let me go and there was a London Drugs nearby, so I went in and got some Advil because it really hurt after the anesthetics wore off. And I wanted to get some, like, bandage stuff to kind of mop up the blood. 
And uh, I didn't realize my eye was still bleeding that much though when I went to check out and the cashier's just looking at me really strangely and I was just like, okay, whatever. And then I went outside and whip out my mirror and there's like blood pooled all in my eye, like <laughs> super bloody. And I was like, oh, that's probably why he's giving me weird looks. And then I had to go to class right after that and it was not fun because it hurt, but so glad to get rid of those lumps because the one I had on my lower eyelid I had that for over a year like it was at its maximum size for over a year and then I started getting this other one it grew really fast and then I was like cut these out so that's the story of me getting lumps cut out of my eyelids I don't know if you guys got really got a good look at these but they are blue on the inside which is totally awesome because it kind of matches my hair I think I'm just going to give up looking for my other pair of glasses right now. I'm sure I'll find them once I tidy up a bit more. But for now, I'm just going to take care of this mess. It's actually not that bad compared to how it was a few days ago. Just got to empty the dishwasher and put these dishes away. Well, put them away into the dishwasher, not in my cupboards because they're dirty. That would be gross. Everything is clean now. Well, except the floor. Ugh. When this first appeared on my dash a few days ago, or no, I was searching the Tumblr tag, but when I first saw it, I just stared at it for at least a full five minutes. And I just went back to my Tumblr specifically looking for it, and now I'm just stuck staring at it again. Oh, that is majestic. I actually also really love when she stomps her foot during the song. It is just like the way the music hits and the camera move and like just the impact of it is so cool. I just really love her stomp. So here's the foot stomp. It's also in Demi Lovato's version of the song. It's not as impactful as when it hits in the version of the song that's in the movie, because the music is obviously different. But here it is. Oh gosh, it's it's like it's like half a second long or like one second, but it's so good. I just <sighs> Oh, I don't know why. I just I cannot get enough of it. Check out this picture my mom sent me earlier today. It's my two puppies and they just got haircuts and so they got bandanas put on them. This is Ben, he's a male Scottish Terrier and that's Maddie, she's a female Cairn Terrier. You know what would be awesome is catching this at all twos. That would be insane. Alright, well that's it for today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm in the middle of editing the vlog right now and I got to the part where I said I just got home from work and now I need to do laundry and then my eyes just got wide and I was like, my laundry! <laughs> okay, because the doors to the laundry room lock automatically at 10 p.m. I checked the time right away, it was 9.50 and I was like, ah, oh, go get my laundry! Like, if I would have checked it 10 minutes later, I would have been screwed and my laundry would have stayed there overnight and I would have to go get it early in the morning. So. Yay, I got my laundry, so I know what I'm going to be doing now while the video is exporting. I'm going to be folding all this crap. Oh, yay. If you're wearing headphones, I suggest you take them out because I might scream. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. This is just the back of it. The castle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>